So this is not finished, but let's just say for the sake of this tutorial that my four page book is just about done. So I've got it right over here inside my library. You'll notice that if I click on the share button, it gives me a few different options in terms of downloading that as an ebook, which is a great feature um, that you may want to explore. The other option is to print it. Um, as a student, these are really the only two options that I have if I want to share this. Um, teachers have other options, and, and we'll talk about that in a second. But if I'm a student and I want to go in and just kind of read my book and see how it works, let me just go back there for a second. There is a play button that you can select, and this will show you exactly what that book is going to look like when you publish it and share it as a link. So here's our cover. It opens up to this page. Remember our Google map that we had inside. Um, this page as well where I took the Wikipedia link and I linked directly inside the text. Another interesting feature of Book Creator is the option to have the Book Creator program read it directly inside the browser. So if you again have younger students who can't quite read text, if I select this option that says read to me. Winter An Atlantic bottlenose dolphin was found on the shore in Cape Canaveral. Okay, so those are some ways that you can select that to read. It's reading a little bit slow. Winter Let's go ahead and try that again. There we go. Now let's try it. Winter, an Atlantic bottlenose dolphin, was found on the shore in Cape Canaveral, Florida tangled in a crab net. Okay. So that gives you an idea of some of the ways that you can have Book Creator actually read that book to you. Let's just go to the last page right over here. And there we go. So this is how a student can preview a book. Now, I just switched to my teacher account, and what's great about this account is that I am able to view all of the student work in very close to real time. So as a teacher, after my students work independently, I can go to my book creator account, I can go in, maybe fix some grammatical errors if they exist, or take something out that doesn't belong there. And I can see what my students are doing in just about real time. But let's say that I go in, this book looks really good, and now what I want to do is to publish this book. Remember, as the student, I didn't have this option. That is the option to publish the book online. So I'm going to select publish online. And now as a teacher, I'm able to go in and add some details about this book. So I added my details here. Now, these, these are some settings that you may want to explore. Who can find this book? You can either have it be public or private. I'm just going to select private. You can read a little bit about it below. And then the option for remixes. Remixes is kind of an interesting feature in Book Creator that will allow other users to take an existing book and kind of make a duplicate of it and, and modify it. But I'm just going to leave that off as well. So now I'm going to select Publish Online. And there we go. It says that this book has been published. If I want to share it, I just have to select this button that says Copy Link. Let me open a, a new private window. I'm going to paste that link. And there we go. Now anyone can go in and read this book. So that's how to publish an individual book.